Today I'm going to help people out with importing movies from the Panasonic SDR S26 video camera. I have read forum posts, blogs and seen YouTube videos that tells that you need to use the software that comes with the installation CD with the camcorder. The reason is they say that you don't get the desired quality and size of the videos. I have done some experiments with this and my test says that you don't need this software. You can create a simple script that converts movies from the camera and convert it with a codec and with no noticeable difference from the original movie. You can compress it to half of the file size. So now I'm gonna show you how to create this script. First download a program called FFmpeg. Now I forgot to tell you that for some reason they don't provide the Windows binary file for this. They have only options to download source code. So let's try videohelp.com and here you can find the download location. Now FFmpeg is a very difficult program to master. That is if you try to search for any command line operation you will probably fail. I failed a lot until I found a program called WinFF. WinFF is a Windows wrapper around FFmpeg. You will get the right command line option and settings with this program. But the downside is you have to do the same operation each time you have new movies to convert and you do not have the latest FFmpeg unless they update the WinFF package. The latest WinFF program is no problem for me but I would like to have a script that can import and convert movies from the camera with just a double click. So I have now the WinFF program running and I will plug in the camera. Now let's check out the videos. The videos are named .mod, but this is actually an MPEG, so you can rename it to MPG and it will work. I set this to XVID widescreen, get the correct folder, so I'm going to put it in this folder. I'm going to change the video size and the aspect ratio, and I set this to the interlace. So let's add a movie. Notice the folder name. I think the name change for every new day you take movie shots. So today is 001 and tomorrow is 002. Now what is happening is that a batch file will run so you will have a black window here with uh, command line options. You will have to copy this command line to a separate text file. Right, I clicked convert, the program was running and we will now extract the command line Select mark and copy to the end. It's a quite long line. So what I do is remove word wrap. So we have this line on a single line and will not, will not get wrapped on several lines. Now we are going to make a batch script and we have to edit this line to make it one single line and remove parts that should not be in the script. So remove this one. This will be the input file. We have an input file and an output file. The input and output should always have surrounding string characters. And here we have the output file and a surrounding string character. So we have a template command line. Now I'm going to make it automatically find and loop each file and apply the FFmpeg conversion. But before this I want to copy each file to the local computer from the camcorder. You have to find out what your drive name is in your case. In my case it is drive letter G. The dot means that it copy all files to where the script is located. You can have more lines if you have videos from more than two days. 
I have only prepared from the first day and the second day. Now I'm going to use the for command to iterate through each file. The for command will repeat the ffmpeg command for every file found and it will try to find all mod files in the current location of the batch file. So when the script starts the percent percent %f will be the first file found. So instead of giving the input file like this percent percent %f will represent this file and then the next file move 002.mod and so on. So let's replace this. Now we will use this variable for the output file and we want to keep the extension AVI. When the batch is done I would like to delete all .mod files and pause the script to see if any error occurred. And now I save it in the new folder. Now we need a ffmpeg program. So you copy the latest from the Windows binary file that you downloaded in the beginning of the tutorial or you can use the ffmpeg included in the winff installation directory. Right, let's try this. Now we have the ffmpeg program and I double click the batch file and it starts to convert. And here we have the movie. Thank you for watching this tutorial.